by doing it like this. So let's go object, let's go live paint, let's go make, and for the most part we want to color everything. So if we can modify things later. All right, so we're gonna look for shape builder, drop down to live paint bucket, it's also K by the way. So let's just do kind of base colors first. And we can always test this out. The idea is I want it to look like a hot dog. And eh, it might go a little bit darker. Eh, let's just color it all the same for right now. We could always modify this. This is really just so we get some base colors down. That's gonna be hot dog, that's gonna be hot dog, hot dog. All right, good, good, good. Black, black, black. All right, let's do some bun color. Now this back is gonna definitely go darker, so maybe we can just kinda test that out for right now. Keep in mind, we can always change all of this. All right, good, good, good. And I can color and change the uh, things back at this point too. not going to do that yet. And just so you can tell, it breaks it. So if we don't expand it, and then sometimes you'll see us unify it, it gets a little bit funky if we don't expand all the black beforehand. So you might also notice that the blacks aren't matching yet. So don't be too concerned about that yet. But I do want to fill in all my whites. Don't worry, we'll change up quite a bit of this. teeth. That's going to go black. We'll probably modify that a little bit. Uh, 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 uh. Alright, boogie check. think we have everything. All right, good. Select object expand. Hit okay. And this is just flat color right now. Flat, flat, flat. All right, next, I want you to ungroup. More than likely it takes 3. So notice everything is still selecting. So I want to be able to select each one of those. All right, so I'm going to grab all of the black. Now I want to Unite everything. There we go. All right. So this is flat color. Let's, let's label that guy flat color. Save check. All right, so this is the flat color layer. So what we want to do is basically pretty much leave this one alone. I do want to duplicate it. And then let's just kind of lock it out for now. So the first thing that we want to do is I want to establish any of our drop shadows. So if you think that you want some kind of just basic ones, I think this is kind of a good little way of doing it. Now some of it is, hey, I just want to change the shape. So since we colored everything white, I can come in and basically change some things up if I just want to come in and do some solids. So that is a very, very easy fix. So if I ever said, hey, I don't like this pink, since I did color it in, I can come in and modify those colors. So that is a very, very easy thing to do because I already have all those shapes built. 
Now the other little thing we are going to do is I want to use my handy dandy little knife tool and I'll just pull that out so you guys can see. And what this is going to do is if I want to break shapes down, so this is kind of instead of using the pathfinder and building up shapes and things like that, so I think this is kind of a, a good solution for a lot of you and I think it's pretty quick. Now be aware that the flat color underneath is going to prevent see, some funky little wispy lines. So if you ever have those kind of popping through, just be aware that I have your flat color layer underneath. So if I, I'll do a couple just so you can see what I mean by that. All right, so let's do the face first. Let's zoom in. I might modify some of this in a little bit or a little bit later, but just so you can see how the knife tool works. So let's just say I want kind of the, the back part of the tongue here and then underneath to have a different color. So I'm gonna come in. Let's just try to drop those two. Now I can come in, grab them. Now I don't really have a darker pink set up, so let's just... Boom. And I might modify the, the shadow for this as well. Let's go knife tool. I just want it to go right on the back. So things just to notice, or the habits with the, the knife tool, notice that I select the shape I want to cut, and then notice I'm kind of doing a big, long, smooth. So the smoother it is, the less you'll have to use your... the pathfinder and build shapes for it. I'm just establishing a little bit of a shadow color. Good. All right, so let's zoom in. All right, let's grab the nose. Let's go right here. Notice I'm kind of hanging out. I'm gonna grab the face now. Knife, and I just wanna kind of drop that kind of straight down. Let's just test it out. So what I want to this notice this little shape under the nose. Since I think that's kind of on the same plane. All right, looking good. Let's select down here. File save. I think that's a pretty good little wiener. <laughs> so this is Jason Zegros. We do a bunch of illustrator tutorials we're also going to be adding on some how to draw cartoons as well as some whiteboard animation playlists coming up this school year uh so definitely if you like them definitely comment i definitely read those thank you for always staying positive uh and number two make sure you guys are subscribing so uh, definitely do that check out jasonsecrets.com for all of the resource materials and uh, i have them all in a folder for you so they're all easy to access so you don't have to download a thousand different things and we're uh, just going to be sharing them that way so i think that would be a lot easier for you guys to do and then uh, we'll go from there uh other little things we are good to go